Orangutans got suspiciously close to inventing stone tools in new zoo experiments. Untrained orangutans seem to instinctively use a stone hammer and cutting implements, surprising researchers. Uh, so do, this this guy's uh, basically made a hammer out of a rock? Yeah, it seems like it. His name is Louis as well? I like that. <laughs> Louis the orangutan. Isn't, isn't that in Jungle Book? Oh, uh, oh, what is the orangutan's name? I think it is, Louis. Is it? I don't know. Mo's going to get to the bottom of it. Captive okay. orangutans can use stone tools without minimal direction from humans, researchers reported today. Besides an affirmation of orangutan intelligence, I mean, everybody knows they're crazy intelligent, the finding has implications for understanding how and when stone tool, tools, uh, tool use evolved in ancient human ancestors. Go ahead, Mo. You got King it. Louis. King Louis. There you go. Mm. We were right about that. I'm sure this guy's name must have been inspired. Our study shows that despite the fact that orangutans do not use stone tools in the wild, they can use them when these are provided to them in captive settings. Therefore, the fact that orangutans don't use stone tools in the wild is due to a lack of need or opportunity. Yeah, they're like everything's going well. Right. <laughs> That's I don't problem. need a hammer. What's the problem? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you handing me that hammer? It's useless <laughs> to me. Everything is sorted out over here. I'm doing just fine. The orangutans in Norway did use the concrete hammer stone, but only to strike the walls and floor of their enclosure, not the stone they were provided with. In the second experiment, in which they were given a ready-made flint flake, an ape named Louis successfully used it to cut open a silicone skin to access food. Mm. Nice. Sharp tool. Sharp tool, good food. <laughs> Dude, I wonder, like. I wonder if they looked at... Um, like people around who have tools and then started using them. Like thought it was like an inspiration. Oh, like the monkey. The orangutan saw other people mm -hmm. and then monkey see, monkey do is what you're saying. Because I guess you can't, <laughs> you can't do that in the wild, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much they showed them what to do with it. Um, like instruction wise versus create the scenario where it would be useful. Mm -hmm. Food is a, is an incredible motivator. I'm sure you've experienced this with Otis before. Well, oh my God. I yeah, think he'll he, find his way. I think he'd be willing. No matter what, he'd be yeah. willing to use a stone tool <laughs> if, he, if he could hold on to it. If his snack or treat was on the other side of uh, some sort of skin that he could cut. Therefore, the fact that orangutans don't use stone tools in the wild is uh, just because of opportunity. That's what they essentially. That's the conclusion of the thing. Mm -hmm. Create the opportunity. Hide the food. Mm -hmm. Tools are coming out. Oh, we got a video. Let's see. Let's check it out. What is that? I don't know. That's a it rock. Seems to be. Oh, that's uh, the rock. Okay. And there's start. Oh, he's banging. A bunch of wires he's banging. Covering. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's trying to loosen, get that free, whatever's hidden down there. Wow. A little phone stand over there. <clears throat> you got it, little buddy. Yeah. That's uh, it. <laughs> No, they they can do complex things. I think uh, you've seen them do uh, puzzles on screens and complex sequences in order to unlock food once they've mm -hmm. discovered that that's uh, what they need to do.